Samsung Digital Cockpit Samsung has showcased its next-generation digital cockpit for connected cars. Powered by Harman's automotive technology, Digital Cockpit 2021 comes with multiple screens inside and outside the car. It also features 5G connectivity, enhanced safety, and a comfortable user experience. The company wants connected cars not to be limited to just transportation but to become comfortable daily living spaces for everyone. The giant dashboard display inside the car is powered by a QLED panel, while an OLED panel powers the center console. There is also a display outside the car, on the front grille, that shows alerts to pedestrians, and it is powered by a micro LED panel. Virgin Hyperloop Hyperloop 1, known from October 2017 to November 2022 as Virgin Hyperloop or Virgin Hyperloop 1, is an American transportation technology company that works to commercialize the high-speed travel concept called the Hyperloop. Hyperloop systems are intended to move passengers and or cargo at airline speeds at a fraction of the cost of air travel. They are designed to run suspended by magnetic systems in a vacuum tube. 3. The original Hyperloop concept proposed to use a linear electric motor to accelerate and decelerate an air-bearing levitated pod through a low-pressure tube. The vehicle would glide silently at speeds up to 760 miles per hour, 1,223.1 kilometers per hour, with very low turbulence. 4. The system is proposed to be entirely autonomous, quiet, direct to destination and on demand. As it is proposed to be built on columns or tunneled underground, it would eliminate the dangers of ad-grade crossings and require smaller rights of way than high-speed rail or a highway. Mercedes-Benz F-015 Luxury The concept of the self-driving car is still in its infancy. While there are autonomous vehicles on the road today, including the newest Google self-driving car, the design side of this tech is still in frontier stages. At least it was until CES 2015, when Mercedes revealed the Mercedes-Benz F-015 Luxury in Motion concept. In the Luxury in Motion concept, Mercedes has imagined a flexible vehicle design that is as much a luxury lounge as it is a proper vehicle. It's a departure from the eyes forward designs of modern automobiles, it reimagines a vehicle's interior for relaxation and entertainment. The Mercedes-Benz F-015 Luxury in Motion concept is one of the first to break away from traditional 2x2 two -two cabin design. The breakup isn't permanent, however. These seats can swivel back into 2x2 two -two position and allow a driver to take control of the vehicle from the front left seat. This vehicle is flexible, a healthy halfway point between conventional driving and the automated car of the future. Bell Nexus the unveiling of the Bell Nexus Hybrid Electric VTOL aircraft took place on January 7, 2019 at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2019. The Nexus has six, six, large duct fans for vertical and forward flight, three, three, on each side of the fuselage, with a main high wing 8 feet, 2.4 meters, with a high rear stabilizer. The middle set of rotors are located on the ends of the main wing and the fans pitch from vertical to horizontal allowing vectored and forward thrust. Landing skids contain small wheels. 
While the Bell patent includes two different versions, one that holds one passenger and a pilot, and one that holds six passengers, the current version shows a 4 plus 1 configuration for a pilot and four passengers. Top speed will be 155 kt, 288 kilometers per hour, with a range of 130 nanometers, 241 kilometers. It has a gross weight of 6,000 pounds and will fit in a 40 foot x 40 feet, 12.2 m square foot. Transit elevated bus. Chinese company Shenzhen Washer Future Parking Equipment proposed the innovative design as a way of addressing the problem of congestion caused by rapid urbanization and population growth of many of China's cities. The TEB is a bus that straddles traffic by driving over the top of it, running along fixed tracks. Its main compartment is elevated, leaving the street clear for cars underneath. The design also incorporates solar panels on the roof and at bus stops to partially power the vehicle. The vehicles could be capable of holding up to 1,200 passengers each and travel at 40 m h 60 km per hour. Designers estimate that the vehicles could reduce traffic congestion on main roads by 25 to 30 percent. They also highlight the relative affordability of the system, the construction cost of one TEB and 25 miles of route facilities is estimated at around $7.4 million, one-tenth the cost of building the same length of subway line. Renault Float The float, designed by Yu Chen Kai, means Renault's future could be in modular bubble pods. Born and raised in Shanghai, the designer focused on a modular design, featuring peanut-shaped bubble pods that can connect multiple ways depending on need. The float is designed to take the social interaction of Facebook into the world of cars. The glass machine will look like a bubble when on the roads, floating around using magnetic levitation tech, while able to connect to other pods to create a weird bubble wrap style convoy. Seats can swivel and sliding doors open to force you to interact while the float can bob around in any direction. The concept also includes a smartphone app that lets you holler for a float at any time, the Uber of the future, apparently. Pop-Up Next Pop-Up Next is the evolution of the first fully electric and zero-emission modular system designed to help resolve traffic congestions. Pop-Up Next reflects the philosophy driving Ital Design's 50th anniversary celebrations, anticipating the challenges that the next 50 years will bring. It represents a vision of the potential offered by future technologies, the new concept of transportation and the new solutions for resolving the problems linked to city planning and traffic in large urban centers that are increasingly becoming one of the priority aspects for safeguarding our planet. Next is evidence of the success achieved by Pop-Up over the past year amongst the main players in the transportation world, the municipalities and institutions worldwide. Pop-Up combines the flexibility of a small two-seater ground vehicle with the freedom and speed of a vertical takeoff and landing VTOL air vehicle, thus bridging the automotive and aerospace domains. The core of the product is therefore the intermodality and making it modular. Underground Tunnels Transportation Elon Musk is famous for electric vehicles, reusable rockets, and satellites that can beam down high-speed internet to the most remote regions of the planet. But in 2016, he set his sights lower. The idea was to create a company that would solve traffic by building a system of underground tunnels. Musk founded the Boring Company in 2017. In a video released that same year, the Boring Company teased a system in which cars and public transportation pods are lowered underground by metal platforms and proceed to zoom through tunnels at 124 miles per hour, unimpeded by pesky traffic. 
The problem with tunnels, Musk said during an event unveiling the company's first demo tunnel in 2018, was that they take a long time to build and are very expensive.